There you go. I got a lot of open water for them to make their best course. Bow number 63 coming down now. That's Windsor from Boston, Mass. Go Lamps. That boat is rowed by Emma, Olympia, Amber, Louisa, Bibi, Ella, Leela, Celeste, and Leah. Followed closely behind by bow number 62, Greater Lawrence Rowing from Lawrence, Mass. Women's Youth 8 from the Greater Lawrence Rowing Club. And for those who don't know, the rowing at the Charles is just as much a race as for the coxswain as it is for the rowers, because the coxswain can really make or break your race, shaving off hundreds of meters in this course by taking the right line, especially towards the end of the race as you get into those tighter turns. Bow number 54 coming down, oh, sorry, 64 coming down. Arlington Belmont crew from Arlington. A lot of talent there. Seriously valuable experience in that coxswain, but I will say coxing a head race and coxing a sprint race are worlds apart in skill sets. Yeah, absolutely. So that was 66, so we must still have some other 60-ish numbers to come, and that 66 boat must have passed quite a few to this point. This Who's is 68 this here. here. Oh, so 68, also moving well. Morristown Rowing Club from Morristown, New Jersey. They row um, at the Camden County Boathouse in, uh, on the Cooper River. Nice, the coxswain doing a great job. There's nothing, no more satisfying sound in my ears than a coxswain with just that right voice saying the right command at the right time. You don't like to describe for the island? Oh, it's like for the rowers, when they say the right thing, it's amazingly helpful. Yes. If they're saying the wrong thing, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I don't know if the young kids know what that sounds like anymore, but do we have chalkboards anymore? But it's, yeah, it's, you know, super valuable having a really good coxswain. Worth their weight in gold, for sure. I have absolutely won. I've had coxswains win races, hands down. This I've, is uh, 61, I believe, Kevin, wearing red. Bow 61 in red, uh, Niskayuna from New York, and right behind them, 63. we have Bow 63. This is Windsor School from Boston, Massachusetts. Now, for me to say coxswains win races, I mean, I'm, I'm a scholar. I like to steer. I like to be in bow, but I'll tell you, man, coxswains really matter. Be nice to your coxswains. Bow 62 is right in front of Well Boathouse. And that dark boat, Bow 62, Greater Lawrence Rowing from here in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Love that Lawrence is rowing. It's fabulous. Not that old of a program. They're doing incredibly well. Yeah, a lot. I've seen more boats from Lawrence in different races this year, I think. It's good to see them out here. 69 looks like it might be Narragansett. You are correct. Bow 69, Narragansett. You on the bridge. Yep. That's for you, Morristown. Welcome to the Charles. Half mile to go. Okay, a few more crews coming here. Yeah, that's 63. Two boats side by side. The... Uh, one tightest on the booze yep, is 63. That's, that's our local crew, Windsor School from Boston, Massachusetts. Emma Birdsong, Olympia Catalino, Amber Renthal, Louisa Bettina Furman, Bibi Nuriello, Ella Trollick, Leela Oplari, Celeste Middleman, and Leah Libman. So that's Windsor with the red blades with the uh, stripes. And then the, uh, the other... Red top, some white blades. That's 61. Niskayuna from New York. So Windsor passing the Cambridge Boat Club now. And Niskayuna passing the Cambridge Boat Club now in the dark boat with white blades. Bow 62 coming next. 
This is the uh, white uni tops, blue and white stripes. Greater Lawrence Rowing from Lawrence, Massachusetts. Then in the pink tops, that's...